everyone so today i'm going to show you how to make this cool paper folder that you can put anything you want inside i'm going to use mine for photos i didn't record myself cutting any of the pieces but for the black piece which is your like backboard kind of you're going to cut cardstock that is 27 centimeters by 9 centimeters so for your back, you will score it at seven centimeters, then you move it over 1.5 centimeters. You see that line that you just finished scoring? You're gonna move that over to 11 centimeters and score, and then move that same line over 1.5 centimeters. It's kind of confusing, but I found it that way to be the easiest to explain it. And then you will just fold it. Um, I find using a folder is easier, but I was too lazy to go get mine, but if you have one, definitely use it. Inside folders, you're gonna cut colored scrapbook paper, 19 centimeters by 9 centimeters, and you're gonna cut 10 of them. I find it cooler if they're double sided. So then you will take it on the long side and then score it 5 centimeters, flip it and score it at 5 centimeters, and then fold it in. And then you will just um, run some tape or a snail like this down the middle and then just glue it. and. Then you are going to measure it, which it would be 9 centimeters now. You mark it in the middle, which is 4.5. See these lines that I put on there? It makes it so much easier to punch it because you just line the uh, top lines up, the top and the middle line with your score. And then you ha just have to do this with all 10. So see the line where we folded it together? We're going to put some glue right there in the middle and then stick another piece on top. Make sure you line it up all the way and then you're going to do this with all of the pieces. Just glue them all together but just in the middle. As you can see all the lines are in the back now so your front paper won't have any lines on it and now you will have an accordion. You don't need to glue the bottom because it will be inside your cardstock. From your bottom score line, you're going to measure 9 centimeters, so this is as tall as your paper, and then you will glue it. Remember to leave a hole for where you punched out. That would not be good if there was glue there. And then you'll just glue all around, make sure you glue this very well. And then you'll just stick your papers very close to the bottom score line and just make sure that's secured. Then you will skip that 1.5 centimeters and then put glue on the other side of the flap and then glue it to your little folders. Now you can add some decorations on the outside. So I cut some butterfly paper and then glued it on a purple background, making it like a shadow effect, which I think is really cool. Then you can grab some magnets and then you can put one of the magnets on the bottom flap. Make sure the top flap goes over it. Put that down and then you will grab another piece of cardstock and just glue it over there. This way you'll hide the magnet. And then you will put the top flap over and make sure that the magnet is in the right spot. And you will just glue your top piece over that so then the magnet will be all hidden. Remember when we punched the folders? These are the semicircles that came out so you can reuse those and decorate your box afterwards. Just remember to use the full pieces and not the pieces that are glued together. And then that's all done. Ta-da! And it looks super cool different one I made and it looks just as cool as the other one. I think it's super cool if you use double sided paper for the inside of the folders because then it just gives it like an extra effect. And thank you guys so much for watching.